All right, so liquid glass or no liquid glass. I feel like this year iOS users are divided on one of the biggest redesigns coming to the iPhone with iOS 26. Some users really like liquid glass, some users really do not like it at all. So I wanted to revisit some of the changes happening to liquid glass so far from iOS 26 beta 1 here on the left to beta 3 here on the right. Now, one of the biggest redesigns in terms of liquid glass this year from beta 1 to beta 3 so far has been control center. As we take a look here at control center, in my opinion, I sort of prefer the first beta control center, but I think it still needs a little bit more contrast. However, in beta three, you see here that we basically lost liquid glass entirely when it comes to control center. And it shows even more when you jump into like sub menus and things of that nature. So you see here, if we go into the brightness toggle, you see here complete liquid glass around the toggle as well as in the toggle. In beta three, the liquid glass almost shows inside of the toggle, but not on the exterior as you can see right there. Personally, I think again, I prefer the liquid glass design of a beta one on the control center versus beta three. But again, I think Apple could add a little more contrast to beta one. So right in the middle, I think it's the sweet spot. I think Apple will continue to tweak the control center. Let me know which one would you prefer. Now, I also wanna talk about folders because as we launch a folder here in beta one versus beta three, you also notice a lot of liquid glass in beta one here around the folder and on the folder in the shadows as well. So I really love the liquid glass in beta one for the folder UI. Now in beta three, it doesn't look bad at all. You see more contrast and you can see things a little better, I guess you can say, even the app icons. But I prefer beta one, in my opinion, I think beta one looks a little better in my opinion. You see here that the folder itself in beta three adds a ton more contrast, almost like a frosted glass, if you will, as well as the background there. And you see here in beta one again, I really love this entire liquid glass design for the folder UI. Again, let me know which folder design in those comments down below would you prefer Apple to go with. Now, I also wanna talk about Apple Music and the Apple Music controls. So you wanna focus on the bottom here, the controls in beta one versus beta three. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna start scrolling up and take a look how the controls adapt to liquid glass here on the left versus beta three, where we basically do not have any liquid glass left here in beta three, which is sort of a bummer because again, I prefer the liquid glass design from beta one for the Apple Music application. I think it works well, it looks nice. Even when changing through the menus, I think the liquid glass design behavior is a lot better in beta one versus beta three. But again, Apple going with a little more contrast here for the Apple Music UI on the third beta. Now keep in mind, Apple will continue to tweak Liquid Glass until iOS 26 is officially released in September, but these are some of the changes happening so far with the latest beta for iOS 26, which is beta three. Now beta four is expected to be released here in just a couple of days. We're expecting that to release on Monday the 21st alongside the first public beta a day or two later. And keep in mind that Liquid Glass again will continue to see redesigns and changes until the official release for iOS 26 later in September. Now we did put together a concept on how Apple could adjust liquid glass or allow users to uh, you know, adjust liquid glass to their likings. As I mentioned, a lot of iOS users really want the liquid glass and some do not. And I think with a UI that can help you decide how much liquid glass you want on your iOS design will be ideal. So we put together this concept thanks to Sack over on X. Make sure you go ahead and give him a follow. He's pushing out some amazing concepts. So make sure you go ahead and give him a follow. Links will be down below. So you see here we have the liquid glass appearance in stage one, you see complete liquid glass and all the way to the right, stage five will be sort of a frosted glass, which is what we have for the most part here in beta three. So yeah, I think giving users the ability to choose the opacity or intensity of that liquid glass from stage one full liquid glass to all the way to frosted glass on the right will be ideal for Apple to actually compel users to update to iOS 26 later in September. But again, guys, this has just been a revisit so far of the changes happening to Liquid Glass. Again, more changes coming down the road. Stay tuned for future betas and redesign changes. I'll be covering everything until September, the official release of iOS 26. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.